So are you studying to be a anchorman or No. <laughs> I would uh I wanna be on the radio. Radio. Yeah. Quiet on the set. Sorry. <laughs> awesome. Hi, my name is Cole Jurgens, and I'm here today with the CACC mayoral candidacy elections of 2011 with Mike Coffey. How are you doing today? Good. How are you doing today? Pretty good. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. No problem. Uh, let's start with the questions. Okay. What makes you uniquely qualified to hold the office of mayor of Springfield? Well, I think the most important quality. I have is a business person. Lived in Springfield my entire life, but as well as being a small business person, I'm also chairman of the board of the Prairie Capital Convention Center downtown. So both my business experience as well as my government experience, I think, makes me uniquely qualified to lead the city of Springfield. Yes. Uh, why did you decide to run for mayor? Well, I decided to run for mayor because, you know, like so many people out there, I'm a small business person and every day, you know, I have to live within my means. You know, we bring in you know certain revenues and we can't spend more than we take in you probably have that same uh, problem here at school you know you go to you have a summer job you work to go to school and all that you can only spend the amount of money that you bring in well for some reason city government doesn't think they have to abide by those rules so I I'm, I'm gonna go and take a small business person's perspective and change City Hall great there's been considerable concern about city finances given the state of the economy how do you go about balancing the budget well, the first thing you've got to do is you've got to get in there and look at the budget. I'm going to go line by line with myself, my directors, and you know, look at the budget. W find out where. Is there waste and mismanagement? And if there is, we're going to cut that out. Secondly, I'm going to do a personnel audit. I'm going to go in there and find out, you know, you've got a job to do. Are you doing your job? You know, is it a necessary function for city government? And after you go through that, you know, we're going to have to make reductions and savings. And once I figure out where the waste and mismanagement is, then I will present that to the city council, and we will go from there and try and make government smaller and more efficient. With the same concern in mind, how would you go about bringing in additional revenue to the city? Well, one of the things I'm most proud of is I've been on the Prairie Capital Convention Center board. And we have been trying to do an expanded convention center. And one of the reasons that's so important is because, you know, the Prairie Capital Convention Center brings tourists to town so that they can spend more money and it will increase sales tax dollars. It's one of the few ways that we can bring in money without raising taxes on the people here. So uh, I, I've, I've tried to do it at the convention center, bring more people in to increase sales tax dollars for the city of Springfield. And I'll do that as well as bring in new businesses because we've got to bring new businesses to town so that you know people, young people like you, when you get out of school, you have a job, can add to the tax base. So those are the two things that I'll do. What is your opinion of the current layoffs in the in the Springfield's Convention and Visitors Bureau? Is this measure one you would have taken? Well, I don't know if that if that's where I would start. You know, until you do the line by line audit of each department and figure out you know where the waste and mismanagement is. You know. What personnel you know need, <clears throat> can stay, and which departments uh, you know need reduction? You know, I don't know that. What I will tell you is, I am not for a reduction in spending in tourism, do tourism dollars. Why? Because for every dollar you spend in tourism, you get seven to nine dollars back to the city of Springfield. So I'm not for you know lessening the dollars we spend on tourism. Now, was there too much staff there? Can we take that money and better spend it in, in, in other ways on recruiting people to come to town to spend more money in Springfield? Maybe. So until you're in that office and you really see, you know, which departments are overstaffed and which departments are understaffed, I can't make that calculation sitting here today. But I will be able to make that once I'm in office and can go through each department. You said you're a fan of small business. And uh, how would you help small business in this time of economic concern? Well, unlike, you know, a lot of my competitors, I am a small business person. So I understand the struggles they go through every day. And the best way you can do that is for government to live within their means, you know. You need to, you know, bring more people to town. Like I talked about with the convention center, you know, the more people you bring to town, the more money they spend in Springfield locally, the more money small businesses make, the more taxes they pay. So, you know, recruiting people to come to town, making this city financially stable so that small businesses want to be in Springfield, Illinois. That's the best thing you can do. How will you foster partnerships between the city and education, K through 12 and higher education? Well, one of the things you need to do for the K through 12 is 
you know, as mayor, try and encourage new businesses to come to town and build within the school district. That way we're broadening our tax base within the school district. The next thing you need to do is bring jobs to Springfield. You know, the more jobs we bring to Springfield, you know, so that young people like yourself, when you get done here, my job is to make sure when you're done, you know, going to school and doing everything you need to do, that I've got jobs in the city of Springfield for you to stay here and, and have a job to work so that you produce taxes for the city of Springfield. So that's what I'll pr try and do. Great. Uh, that's all we have for today. Thanks for coming out. All right. Thank you very much, and thanks have for having day. me. No okay. problem. Bye-bye.